is we're going to do all the corner pieces, which are the three pieces that are sticking up here. Um, let me start with a case that is um, that makes a little bit of sense to solve. So what I did is I've got one on this side. I'm going to bring them all over to the same side. If you end up with one on one side, uh, just one corner sticking up, try to consolidate it over to the same side as the others. So we're going to solve the corners on one side and then the other, just like we did with the edges. Uh, but in this case, I've got one side that's solved already. So we're just going to do this one and I'll follow up with some more examples. Now we need just one simple algorithm to solve the corners and an algorithm is a sequence of moves. This algorithm affects these three pieces, the front right and the back two. Now this algorithm will only solve these three corners if the white or yellow sticker that's directly beneath the protruding piece faces towards you when it's in this front right position. So for example, if we perform this algorithm on these three pieces, this piece will be solved, uh, this piece will be solved, and this piece will be solved. So because all of the stickers face towards us when it's in this front right position. So this algorithm actually solves this case uh, where there's three corners sticking up. So holding the yellow layer on top, um, here is the algorithm. Uh, just watch it at first. With the yellow layer on top, we perform right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. And you'll see that that's solved all the corners. And this is a simple algorithm to remember because the right layer goes up, down, up, down, and top layer goes once, twice, two times. Let me do some more examples so you can see this. Here's a case that's similar to the last one, three corners, except now the stickers point to the right instead of towards us. To do this case, we need to execute the algorithm twice, one in the front right and two in the back. And it goes right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. Now we have three corners. Now the stickers all face towards us. And so now we can solve this arrangement with the same algorithm, right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. If you have two corners to solve uh, that are with the stickers pointing in opposite directions, hold it so that the two corners are on the left and then execute the algorithm. Uh, right up, top clockwise, right, to, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. Now we have three corners. Um, they are all facing to the right, so we can either do the algorithm twice, or I can show you the mirror of the algorithm. It's the same thing, but done on the left side. So we can either do it twice, or you can do this. Left up, top counterclockwise, left down, top counterclockwise left up, top twice, left down. So it uh, accomplishes the same thing, but you only have to do it once. Here's a case where only two corners need to be solved and the stickers underneath the protruding pieces uh, both face towards you. To solve this case, hold them so they're facing you uh, with two in the front and execute the algorithm. Right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. And now we have three corners left. Uh, they all face, uh, they are not facing towards me. So that means I have to uh, do the same thing as before. I got to do it on the left side, uh, left up, top counterclockwise, left down, top counterclockwise, left up, top twice, left down. Uh, here's a case where four corners need to be solved. And uh, two of the stickers are pointing in opposite directions and two of them are pointing towards us. To solve this case, hold it so that one of them faces towards you uh, and the other one's in the back and the two are pointing to the left. So just like this and then execute the algorithm once, right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. Now we have three left and if I put one in the front right and two in the back, the stickers all face towards me so I can go right up, 
top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. Here's a case similar to the last one, um, except all the corners are facing in opposite directions. So two are pointing to the left and two are pointing to the right. To solve this case, hold them just like this, uh, two to the left and two to the right, and then execute the algorithm once, right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. And then we have three left, all the stickers face towards us, we have to do it once, right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. Here's a case where we have two diagonal corners. Now there are many ways to solve this arrangement. Uh, here's one of them. If you just uh, execute the algorithm so that one's facing you in the front left and the other one's in the back, you can go right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down, and then we have three left. And it's the uh, mirror case, so I can go left up, top counterclockwise, left down, top counterclockwise, left up, top twice, and then left down. So I wanna end with a case that puts it all together. I've got three on this side and four on this side. I'm gonna start with the side that has three. Uh, now I notice that this is not entirely gonna work. I can execute the algorithm on these three. Uh, right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, and right down. And I'm left with one corner that sticks up. Um, pretty much what I did, what, pretty much during this step, you just kind of have to uh, use your best, get, uh, best estimate of what'll make most of the corners go down. And if we end up with one, that's a good sign, but now we have to come over to the other side. Um, on this side, I wanna try to maximize the amount of corners that I make go flat. And it looks like I can make these three go flat because all the stickers face towards us. So I can hold it like this with, and I can perform the algorithm on these three. Right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. And now I've got two left. Um, I have to bring them over to the same side. And now I end up with the case where both of the stickers face towards us. Uh, the, the solution to this one is right up, top clockwise, right down, top clockwise, right up, top twice, right down. And then we do the mirror case. Left up, top counterclockwise. Left down, top counterclockwise. Left up, top twice, left down. And that is how you solve the shape on the X cube. Uh, the corners are a little bit improvisational. You have to use, you, you can experiment with it, use trial and error. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility. You pretty much cannot uh, mess up too badly. And it's fun to learn how this algorithm affects the different corners. So good luck with this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will try to address them. Thanks for watching.